Okay, so we can now overclock production. Ooh. You have more screws than I know what to do with. Okay. I'm gonna go Very boost fast. up our copper production probably. Because iron can be handled, but copper we're gonna have to go elsewhere, and that's annoying. Alternatively, okay. it actually looks like it's the smelter that's backed up. Yeah, because that, that iron mine is putting out a lot of iron. Let me have a look. It's put, making 30 per minute, and the smelter is saying it can smelt 30 per minute. Ugh. Um, I don't understand. Yeah, it produces one iron ore every two seconds, and it converts one iron ore into an iron ingot every two seconds. So, yeah, it's it's pretty much producing this stuff as fast as it can, so... Cool. Did you get faster? No. Oops. I need to do that. Why? Right, I'm going to increase the uh, uh, iron production. Something I should have done a long time ago. I know, I know. But I was busy exploring and dying. Mostly dying, but a little bit of exploring too. Uh, but then we should be able to get uh, a lot, lot more moving on. We do need to double up our iron production like, massively. I made a bunch of mines, so... You should be able to uh, hook those up at this point. Okay. And really crank up iron. I'm working on copper for a bit. Because I figure iron is closer to your baby. Yeah, yeah sure. That, that works for me. Right. I guess to echo what Avax said earlier, to those of you subscribing, saying cool things, whatever, I'm trying to keep up with them, but I'm also not responding to anything because it'd be rude. And it would break flow of everything. But thank you all for existing. You two evac people. Oh. Well, it's for a lava. Fella. It, it's closer to. It, it's not a vac. Like that's. I'm. I'm saying the a too hard, right? No, no, it is avac. Not okay. Avac. Avac would be a really posh version of me. Uh, right. I need to. Man, you know the worst thing is all. All my. Uh, my. Items down the bottom, all gone. So I need to rejig my list of uh, conveyor belts and stuff like that. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I just can't afford. Oh, I'm out of cables. Wop wop. We should probably oh, move no. the hub at some I point. I mean, we should. Yeah. Uh, probably. Not enough space in inventory. Ah! Oh. oh no. I got too much crap. That is actually quite impressive. The amount of times I die, I don't tend to accumulate crap. I'm afraid. I am. Um, Die far too often. I'm just loaded down in like weird. Oh, yeah. We did get like a bunch of different types of slugs. I thought I was just getting green and purple, but no, apparently I got some yellow ones too. Hmm. Uh, mangled pork. Yes. Yes, I, that, that was definitely. Sorry. It, it's about the Avax. Ah, a friend of ours, uh, a rumba. Tried to do exactly the same thing, and um, he was trying to learn how to say the name. And uh, Stijo and uh, Bantham basically taught him to say it wrong on purpose, and he never, never knew. And he was just this running joke for a very long time. Oh, where's the? Uh... Oh, there's the cables. Dunk. There we go. Right, power is all hooked up. We are now smelting more iron. I'm really hopeful. And I'll hook that up to the other iron. 
Though I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, jiggly pockety. Get this to work. There we go. Let's move you. I'm going to need a combiner. Generally poking out in the select one, but they will do. Right, once this is done, we will have much better iron production. I am extremely happy about that. And there. And there. Okay, okay. so I've added a second smelter. Okay, we are now going to compress one belt. It looks like if you're producing product every second, it'll produce a compressed belt. So we've got two iron smelters, each producing one iron ingot every two seconds. So, you know, in total, um, we can get one compressed belt of iron ingots into the base, which then will split between two different manufacturing processes. So we'll be delivering two iron ingots every two seconds that'll help to the iron plate production which is requires two iron ingots every four seconds so we'll be you know producing quite a lot of uh the uh iron plates will basically be producing those as fast as we can make them uh it's the same for for rods as well but the rods are then later getting split between Rods and screws, so we could do with a little bit more um, compression on the belts, but it's not bad now. I've, so it's it, it's greatly improved actually. I've upped the density on copper considerably, uh, so yes, hopefully I can, can get see. a little bit more. It's kind of crazy. In we fact, might... when yeah, we need more. Yeah, we definitely need more. Though that being said, the uh, wire is compre is almost compressed. Yeah, which means we actually need another, uh, we actually need another... Well, is the wire accumulating actually, decently? Hold on. Do we have two factories making wire, or...? Just one. Oh, I see, you've just got, you've just got the, the weird s splitting section. Oh, I see how it's going. Yeah, we definitely yeah. need uh, another one. Okay. Hmm, how would we do that, though? How do we get that to combine? That will be a bit more tricky, I fancy. Right, are these stockpiling? Let me see. We have... Is there anything that I should jam speed modules into, by the way? Um, this... Well, actually, no, not the smelters. Um, well, hmm... Actually, yeah, the smelters, because then we could split the line if we really wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you, yeah, if you upgrade the smelters, that little bit of extra production can then be split off to a, a separate line. Emanate alardum for bacon agaric added to object scanner catalog. So you can now scan for bacon while we're out and about, if you need to heal. Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. Useful. So you want you want me to overclock the iron smelter? Yes, please. That would be awesome. Okay. Overclock one. Can I overclock two? I can. Okay, so that's the extent of it. We're going to need uh, more slugs. But this one has been overclocked to 200 times speed? Uh, 200%? Yeah. Oh, nice. Supposedly? Oh, there we go. Clock speed. I guess I have to drag it out. Mm. I mean, the other thing you could do is you could just have one, uh, both of them at 150%. Yeah, it gives you I the think same, that's but it'll uh, spread it better. out a little bit better on the Wait. lines. Oh, hey, fun fact. Hmm? I can overclock them, then pull the thing out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh no, this one's this one's back down to one fifty on this one. 
Uh, there, but there's nothing in it. Uh, sorry, one, uh, sorry, no, back down to 100 on mine. It doesn't seem oh, to always upgrade things. Uh, you're right, things. you're right. It, it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't actually update until you've, um... Yeah. <sighs> Bit frustrating now, but, oh well. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so... How do we want, we need... If we want to, to produce more, um... Iron goods, and we just need more iron. It's really that simple. So, with that in mind, I'm going to scan for the nearest iron node. Oh uh, well, actually, we've got we've got two whole iron mines you haven't even hooked up yet. Uh, oh yes, we do. That's yeah. a very good point. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, scan oh, for them, way. and you're going to find the uh, the other half of our base that we haven't even used yet. Interestingly enough, doesn't actually. Uh, Pinpoint these ones. I'm not sure why. When oh. I scan. Right, so. More smelters, I guess. Let's see. If you put two smelters side by side, by the way, put a splitter there. Uh, each one of these iron mine. Uh, no, 30 per minute. Never mind. I'm wrong. Yeah, unless the iron mines are overclocked, then they'll, they'll, um... Uh, it won't really matter in terms of the efficiency of it. Good. No. Look at this. Why are you slow? There we go. Oh, the conveyors are just straight up too slow. I need more plates, and I need more... all sorts of things. <laughs> What's wrong? There's so much co there's so much concrete! I can make the biggest bridge! <laughs> That's well, the our only thing! Production, yeah, has been good. That's the only thing that was, like, going at full capacity while we were, we were gone. Everything else is, like, slow, and doddering, and... Concrete's like, mmm, you want to pave the world? Well, I got you covered. <laughs> well, I'm going to go put the space elevator... Uh, somewhere? No. You're right. Well, I'm trying to decide where I should put these pain sort of groans. It's like, my lord, I'd... what's going on over there? I, I've been trying to emote more, which involves noises. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put the space elevator in the most like badass looking spot I can, and I couldn't figure it out. But I think I've spotted a spot. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try and put down the space. Oh wait, no, no. I need more. I need more iron rods. Oh no. Or do I? I just these down. Nope. Damn it. Uh oh. I. Oops. I. We finally uh, ran out of juice. Yes. Or actually, we probably uh. We overloaded we, the circuit. Yeah, we overloaded the circuit. I mean, oops. we're. Pretty close to. I I think I'm just gonna get the space elevator going instead of bothering with the walkway research. I'm just gonna get okay, us up yeah. to T three so we can get coal. Because if I can sure, get yeah, coal yeah. going, that'll be well, that'll be better. More rods, more. Well, actually, just more rods. Uh. Ah. We done. Nope. Four and a half minutes. Grabbing all of the bits and bobs. Oh, hey. What's up? Oh, I didn't realize uh, the the secondary storage bin actually had a bunch of your old stuff in it. Oh, did it? Or mine? Actually, this might be my old stuff. Either way. Uh, it's more. It's enough resources for me to build the space elevator. Oh, nice. Very nice, in fact. Let's see. Wander put the space elevator in the lake that killed a vac. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Well, 
Uh, what? Wow. <laughs> so rude. I think I'm gonna put it in the, uh... I'm gonna put it below us in the, the infinite death pit. Oh, they're out of power. No, they are actually out of power. That may be what, what happened there then. How did we run out of power when we were away for so long? And didn't run out? Hmm. I'm starting to doubt the whole thing of, uh... Yeah, it runs when you're... Everything a loaded in. Yeah. I, I wonder... Yeah... No, I'm with you on that one. I, I'm calling shenanigans. Yeah, because I feel there should have been an enormous amount of iron plates made at the very least. Because the the iron is basically infinite for all intents and purposes. The concrete was made. I. Mm. Well, yeah, that's actually a good point. The concrete was made. At the same time, I bet we could do the math. Let's say we were gone for. What would it be? Do you think that was half an hour of us just aimlessly wandering? Yeah. Uh, and if we're processing, let's just say baseline, 30 iron plates per... per minute. No, let's get- let's do 15. Yeah, actually... No. Yeah. Oh, I had a leg right? spike. Yeah, no, might actually be about right. May simply be that a bit of lag caused me to think I was looking in a different uh, reactor than the one I was looking in. Oh, well, yeah, that's so, what happened to me, except for I'm putting uh, foundations down on the ground, which is real spooky. <laughs> it's like I, I turned around and suddenly I was looking into the void and I'm like, that, that does, that's not good. <laughs> no, indeed it's not. Right. Okay, then, well, I now have... A decent amount of uh, I need it. Oh. Right, I am trying to construct uh, more of an iron delivery system. Oh, I really do love the, the build distance in this. It is so nice. Like most games, it's like, yeah, you can only build stuff like up close, and then it just leads to fiddly like, trying to position yourself to get the thing in the right spot, and then it doesn't quite work, and you're like, uh... I... Playing this game, I, I used to play a whole bunch of Fallout 4 with, like, heavy mods to kind of give it some of these functions. I'm like, man, someday a AAA game studio is maybe gonna try and make something like this, and it'll be nice. Or... Never. And it'll be a shame. <laughs> or never. One or the other. Actually, our iron production is starting to back up the constructors. We don't have enough to run two constructors, but we are actually starting to stockpile it. Oh, can't afford. Oh, it's oh, since hey. we overclocked it. Of course. It just push it's just pushing out that tiny bit more iron. That makes sense. Up we go. Yeah, honestly, I think once you have those extra iron mines set up, I'll probably move the uh, the overclocking over to the copper. Because we have four iron mines and one copper mine. It looks like the copper is doing fine, so... Okay. Oh, that's hurting my brain. Right, I've almost got the space elevator down. We're gonna need a whole mess of uh, reinforced iron plates, 
and uh, and rotors. I played learn... some rotors. Do we? Yeah, we know uh, we know uh, how to make rotors. Do we have advanced? Um... Yeah, I'm very I'm fairly yeah, certain you assembler. actually. Yep, yep, we got the assembler. So yeah, we just need a couple of ro um, rotors for it, and we can make the assembler, which can then make rotors automatically. Yeah. It'll be a glorious see. thing, I tell you. Glorious. The one thing I would say is, looking at the platform, you have, like, this really dense, uh, dense setup with a lot of space. You might want to, like, uh, move the copper to, like, a... Oh! Actually, yeah. we might want to just move the copper to, like, an upper floor or something. It was something that, uh, that occurred to me is, I've got so much space here. I was expecting to need loads of different cr um, crafting materials, but it really no, hasn't it's... ballooned the way I was expecting it to. Yeah, I was I was kind of alluding to that earlier. It's like you really only use like a couple of a couple of materials. Hey, by the way, can you uh, look away from the waterfall for a second? Sure. Gotta figure something out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you can you see the uh, the ghost image of what I'm building? Looking away from the waterfall. In which direction should I look? So like directly away from the waterfall. Out. Uh. If the hub is at your back, turn right. Yeah, I'm not seeing the ghost of anything. Okay. Uh, can you can you see where I am? Kind of look in my general direction. Yeah, I was uh looking there, but I might be on the wrong level. Ah, uh, this is you... gonna hurt. Oh, that really did hurt. Yeah. yeah, yeah I was hurt. gonna say, don't jump down. You kind of want to watch this from above. All oh, right. I I can't see it from above. I can. If I walk over toward you, because I was on the um, observation tower, I'm not actually. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. I mean, when you're ready. I, I was way too high up. Yes, go. Oh wow, that's taking a long time. It's so long. It's the biggest thing that we can make. So long. Go to the stars. Reach. Bonk. It's not done yet. Keep watching. Oh, this is amazing. I love the way that it uh, kind of goes hot, like a, a white hot, and then it just starts cooling down like as if it's being built by... It's such uh, a cool animation. Sort of also, really look is. up. Look up. Oh, my lord. That is amazing. Uh-huh. That is legit amazing. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Let's see if our base is wow. at the right height for this. No, it's still pretty dang high up. Ow. I want to build up to that at some point, but I just, I don't know if it's doable. Maybe pure stairs. Okay. That is legit amazing. It's, it's cool. I love the anchor hooks it has. Yeah. No, they... That's such an interesting design. Yeah, I'm really glad that it was one of those that you could actually see the, the whole tether come down. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, at night time, when, you know, you haven't got all the blue and, and you know, the, the light from the sun and all that. Can you see a space station or anything at the end of the tether? I've never seen anything myself, but that isn't to say that it, there might not be something. Okay. Right, so with the space elevator, what can we do? Uh, let's see. With the space elevator, I need a lot of screws. Uh, I'm going to go make uh, some rotors, and we're going to go send some stuff up into, the, into space. And then if we're lucky, that'll... Uh, That'll unlock us tier three. Okay. And then I'll go I'm get rush coal. I'm down and have a look at it. Uh, we are totally high enough up that if we could build out in the right way, we could leap off and land on one of those flying creatures. The ones in the valley are far below us right now. How much do we need for rotors? Game oh, phase yeah. 
Yeah, so we're gonna need a bunch more constructors looking at this now. Yeah. Yeah, this, this this will be a job, to be fair. Quite a lot of job. Let's see. Uh, can't afford. Ah! <laughs> How dare you deny me! I'm just slapping down a second constructor for iron plates. Mm hmm. Because I figure at this point we definitely have the, uh. We definitely have the production for this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh. We do. Should be fine. Now, we're currently storing quite a lot of uh, iron as well. So, what I would recommend we do instead of that. Oh, are we storing like a whole bunch of just spare iron somewhere? Oh, yeah, we are. Let me add that there yeah. instead. It's some amount. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you fiddle with it. It's just we need those plates real bad. Uh, actually, we need, we need, like, three times as much plates and rods at this point. Yep. No props. We'll get this happening right now. Let's see. Can you put a construction on a storage unit? You can put a lot of things on top of each other. You might have to put, uh... You, I think you might be able to put a storage unit on a constructor. I don't know if it actually works the other way around. Alternatively, if you put a, uh... Foundation on top of anything, then you can just put anything up there. Oh. Uh, let's see. Did we finish with the slug research? The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into two power shards that function with current fix-it technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. So yellow shards gets us probably even more power shards. There we go. I should be able to hook all of this up. Uh. Right, yeah, that's going to deliver a decent amount of iron across to here. The, currently, we are exceeding the capacity of our rod production. Yeah, we're going to need we're going to need more rods. We're going to need more of everything. Pretty much. I think what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to build a a structure for uh, for these items. The other thing uh, you could do, like I was kind of mentioning, you probably could rip up the whole copper thing and move it elsewhere to make more room well, and just keep this as the... What I was thinking is actually just ripping up... Well, I could do the copper since that's easier to move, but I could rebuild the iron a little bit better using um, like structures yeah. so we could tear it up. Yeah, might so as well. That's probably going to be the more useful of the of the... Of the resources for us right now. Yeah, because we we're using uh you use copper wire a lot less uh mm -hmm. overall. Um, because you don't make uh you don't make reinforced iron plates or rotors with copper at all. I think, yeah, both just require nonstop iron. So yeah, if you want to rip the whole thing apart and make it much more efficient, go for it. Ah, poop. Put that one on the wrong way. I think. Oh no. The wall goes on that way. Okay. Right then. Back to hand making everything. 
Oh, well. Not good times. I'm considering when this game hits the, uh, you know, when it actually comes out in early access on the 19th, uh, I am seriously considering trying to make a tower, you know, constraining myself to X amount of, uh, space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, then that's actually kind of what I'm playing with right now, is just, in a way, just trying to learn how I could do that properly. It's doable. It's probably torture. Might be really fun though when you've got it all set up and you've got like, this, this industrial complex. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, it, it's probably really fun to have this just tower that extends straight all, uh, straight to the top. Uh, the only problem I think would be threading all of the conveyor belts would probably be kind of nightmarish. Yes. Because they don't thread very well. They don't really like going up. Let's see. I need more screws. At least we don't need that many screws, and they make uh, they build pretty quick. I think uh, I think on my solo run, uh, the I think I had two constructors working on pure iron plates, three working on iron rods, and a fourth. Turning iron rods, making iron rods, and then turning it into screws. And that was still not enough, actually. You burn through a lot in this game. Yeah. To be fair, though, this game is super satisfying. It is. I mean, they've really nailed the name. I'm. I. I kind of. I. When I started playing this yesterday, I kind of breathed a sigh of relief, and I'm like, okay. It's actually good. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, so many people were, were holding their breath on that one. Because, like, it's, it's one of those games that I've really been looking forward to, and it's like, yep. it would be a shame to put all this, like, emotional investment in a game and have it, you know, be No Man's Sky again. Yeah, no, no, exactly, yeah. And that, that was a very, uh, very real possibility, unfortunately. Though, I, I guess at this point it actually kind of reminds me of Astroneer. Really satisfying when you first play it, but, you know, a lot of room to grow. And hopefully they take it the rest of the way. I know with Astroneer I'm, I'm a little grumpled just because it's like, it didn't quite make it. Yeah. I don't think they knew what to do with the endgame of Astroneer. Okay, and we are in Tier 3. Hooray! I guess I gotta send it up first, though. Now, can you actually see it go? I'm watching it right now. No movement yet. Yeah. It's actually really easy to get up to... Tier, uh... Tier 5 and 6 as well. Like, we can already get up to Tier 5 and 6. There's just no reason for us to do so. Well... I guess if you, if I were to send you the save file after this weekend, you could probably actually have fun with it. Oh, I'm fine waiting on it. Honestly, gives me. Yeah, uh, no, I'd be too tempted to <laughs> just keep going and then ruin myself, ruin it for myself rather. Yeah. Okay. Try that. So we've got that set up. So now, uh, let's see. If we do resources, we have T three resources. Oh. Uh, it's interesting. We're actually missing one. Okay, so I've switched this over. We are researching coal power. Okay. Uh, and once we get that, uh, all I have to do is go find, like, a coal. Just any, any coal. And then we're done. Oh. Wow. You know what? Actually, this conveyor belt just straight up doesn't need to be there. <laughs> I really, really wish this lookout tower was a little bit more useful in allowing me to. Oh, oh like construct. Oh, yeah. I just saw you fall. So the bloody stairs won't let me down. Take me prisoner. 
Um. Right, so all of the iron will come in from this side, and then we can have two separate belts. Now, ultimately, the two things we need the most of are iron plates and screws. We have a compressed belt, which is like one every second, um, going to... Yeah, each one of these would be able to run two iron belts. Uh, sorry, uh, iron plates. Or two rods. It, would that be enough for now? Just two of them constructing each? Or do we need more? Kind of depends. So, at this point, we can use as much as you make. I guess would be the phrase. Well, phrase, no. I... Because, effectively, we're going to need, like... Well, actually, the copper wire is isn't really that big of a deal. We we just need tons. Uh, so to make, uh, just for frame of reference, to make a single T2 conveyor belt, uh, it requires a reinforced iron plate. And wow. each reinforced iron plate requires four iron plates and 24 screws. So right, we're yeah. going to need, like, buttloads of both. So it's just, you know, however, however much uh, we produce... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I will crack on with that then.